Hi there, Yarny friends. Um, Happy New Year to everyone. So I have a sort of contest and yarn review um, going on. I use Can um, Karen's Pantone Bamboo in the shades Bouncing Blue for the first time. I know it's been around for a while. Um, you know, I tend to get things on sale. This was, um, I acquired this either in an exchange or um, actually I think Kelly might have sent it to me as part of an exchange or possibly part of a carousel box I don't remember which um, but yesterday I worked up a hat um, and I just wanted to give you I know a lot of people love it um, I'm just really not one of them I'm sorry I see I have a cat hair, okay. Um, I'm just not one of them. So I made a hat using the hive pattern. I looked on Ravelry to see um, what patterns people used. And at first I did maybe three quarters of a knit hat, which I found completely unattractive and proceeded to rip it out. Um, then I thought, well, maybe it'll work up better crochet wise. Okay. So I found another pattern that used the appropriate color yarn and I made this hat, which is called the hive hat. Okay. On Ravelry. It's a free pattern on Ravelry. It's, um, uh, you know, a bottom up with the brim and you know, I made a slight modification in the pattern. It worked up fine. I, I think, you know, it's a perfectly fine pattern. It's basically using uh, half doubles and crocheting in the back loop after you do the ribbed, uh, the ribbing portion of it. So the issues I have with it is, is after I was finished, it's still strikes me as a seriously ugly hat, um, which I really wouldn't want to give to anyone. Um, I, it's just completely unappealing to me. I found winding up the five balls of yarn that came in my, you can see the color card there, because you got such a little bit of each, you really were forced to go with a sort of stripey kind of design or color block kind of design. Um, I, you can't, you were limited with the number of items that you can make out of it because you have such a small quantity. You have 3.5 ounces, which is 180 yards, which is split up between five colors. I still do have a little bit of that tan on the top left, okay. Um, and I kind of think the tan doesn't really appeal to me. I crocheted the hat in the basically the same um, the same way that the yarn was carded basically on it, and it really didn't excite me so. So for 2021, um, I am embracing Judy at Witch Pieces idea of trying to enthusiastically make 2021 a uh, better year, a more enjoyable year, and possibly more fun. So my little contest is going to start now, okay, and go until in February. Um, and I, the contest is a ugly hat contest. Basically, okay, um, I want to have people um, either post on their YouTube video or on Instagram, hashtag ugly crochet hat Feb 2021. And I will put it in the description box, okay? What will you win? Well, February is the, you know, Valentine's Day. It's also my birthday, and it's also kind of a rough period for me to get through. I'm still trying to cope with the loss of my husband. So you will get um, an item that's easy to mail, 
which are um, a set of my, here they are, they're my Celtic Heart earrings that I make. I use these to help raise funds for the Wild Hearts organization. Uh, I'm not doing really well showing them off last year. Um, and they, they were uh, a hit and I helped raise funds for that very worthwhile cause. Um, it's a little Celtic heart design and they are just on, um, wires with, um, the little plastic catch thing on the back of the wires, um, for pierced ears. So that's what you would win, what you will win. So you have a number, a different number of different ways to win. First, you have to be a subscriber of my channel. I don't have that many subscribers and I am subscribed to hundreds upon hundreds of channels. Okay. I also don't have a ton of videos and I don't have a ton of comments on my videos. And I have actively been viewing and supporting tons and tons of people in lives, watching their videos. Um, I would just like to see maybe a little bit of that reciprocated. Um, you know, everybody says support me and family matters and we all support one another. And I know everybody can't comment and there's a, on every video and there's a lot of videos that people put out there, but I do comment on tons and tons of them, not on all of them, but on a lot of them. I give people a lot of watch time and air time and I, you know, I'm not posting a ton of content. It would be really, really nice to see that, you know, people who are asking me to play their playlists, people who are asking me to, you know, watch their lives, attend their lives, comment on their videos, watch their videos. I would love to see a comment from you guys, okay, on either this contest, if you want to make a um, ugly hat, okay, because basically an ugly hat or an unugly hat will keep someone warm. So this hat will get donated um, and it will keep someone warm, even though it doesn't appeal to me in the least. Um, I am sort of disheartened. I don't really think I could have done too much different um, to make it less appealing to me. It is beautifully soft. The um, Karen Pantone bamboo has a lovely feel to it, but I actually hated working with it. I hate the fact that I had five ends I had to weave in. I really disliked rolling up everything into little balls, especially since when I unraveled the knitted hat, I needed to re-roll them back up into little balls before I used the same little balls to crochet at. Um, so um, I will put the hashtag in the description. I would love to um, be able to see people's pictures of their ugly hats. And knowing that they would go to a good cause, please donate them to the charity closest to you. You can um, give them to a homeless person. You can leave them with notes on them saying, take me, okay? You know, free to take if needed, okay? If you need a hat, please take it, okay? Leave it in a grocery store. Leave it in a place where it's easily seen or evil easily taken. Um, so many people are needy right now. Um, anyway, and I love hearts and, um, hearts are February Valentine's day and February is the month of my birthday, which would be hard to also get through. So I'd like to see some people show a little bit of their heart by making <laughs> an ugly hat. So I will probably use a um, random comment picker to pick those. Um, and I have fun with this. Okay. Um, I'm probably going to do another video and ask people to choose which hat they think is the ugliest hat. Okay. Also, um, I'd love to see people post pictures of their ugly hats on Instagram and also on YouTube. I'm also going to be doing some happy mail. So there probably will be more than one set of earrings, okay, being given away, okay? You can post on this video. You can post on any of my other videos. I have sent out a bunch of happy mail, so there are people 
that either are about to receive um, the lovely set of earrings or have just received the earrings that I made. So I have, I prefer to do ha happy mail using the people who do comment to my videos, the people who comment on videos that don't necessarily say giveaway because they're really interested because they love crochet or they love handmade things and they like communicating with people who enjoy that same hobby that they have. Anyway, if you'd like to take part in it, I would love to see your ugly hat. I have to figure out how to vote or how to vote or um, see how many comments I get or who's got the ugliest hat. So, and maybe, I don't know, I'm not sure how to create a listing. Maybe somebody can help me out and we can create a playlist of ugly hats. Okay, I know Dana has done it for like the hashtag fairy, fairy thing um, or a couple of other people have done it. I have no idea how to do that. Um, and yes, and if you enjoy using Karen Pantone bamboo, God bless you. I'm sure you picked them up on great sales because I, I, I really thoroughly did not enjoy it. I love the feel of it. It's a nice warm hat and it will, it will keep somebody warm and cozy this winter. So, um, it will be, I'm not sure where I'm going to leave mine with the note on it or where I'm going to donate mine, but mine definitely we go to someone in need. I did enjoy the experience of using this yarn um, and seeing if I like it or I don't like it or what it's all about. Um, I found it annoying and frustrating. It is a four weight. Um, I, I think originally it was pretty expensive for 3.5 ounces. It's an acrylic yarn. And the other thing that just really didn't excite me is it's made in China. Okay, it's acrylic and nylon. It's machine washable and dryable, but it is made in China, 3.5 ounces, um, which doesn't excite me. Um, needless to say, I am all about basically buying U.S. products, products made in the U.S. because we need jobs here. Um, and there are a lot of people are hurting, so it to me makes more sense to spend your money and help somebody out locally, you know, a local um, maker, a local business um, versus a company where the stuff is all made in China. China, the same area that, you know, this whole virus and the fact that they're you know, they didn't let people know what's going on for quite a while. Um, just really doesn't excite me. So many people are suffering right now. So um, I will keep everyone in my prayers. Anyone who has had any difficulty with dealing with COVID or losing someone they love from this holiday, from not this holiday, from this virus, um, but I, you know, I needed a little fun. So I really want to see ugly hats. I love to see more comments. I'm going to check to make sure you're a subscriber to my YouTube channel. My, um, Instagram is, um, runaway hook. So, um, you would need to be a subscriber. If you have Instagram, please subscribe to my Instagram account. If you don't have Instagram, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Um, and hopefully you like the earrings. I'm also do donating a set of them to um, Sharon, who needs a wheelchair. So I'm going to be um, sending a photo of these. Uh, that Well, they're not lined up nicely. Um, to Mama Swift and Jax for their next giveaway. Everyone, have a great holiday. Have a great new year. And hopefully this is a fun thing that you might be interested in taking part in. Take care. Um, be safe. Bye.